When sense was prevailing in the aftermath of the Gori Katwa rape, the Congress Party's closest ally in Kerala, the Indian Muslim League, has senselessly attempted to stoke a fire from the dying embers of the story of the incident. Here are the hard facts. Congress ally goes on midnight rampage in Kerala. The Muslim League vandalizes the BJP office and terrorizes BJP office bearers in the name of the Katwa victim. Now, Rahul Gandhi challenged the Prime Minister over Katwa silence, but hasn't still condemned his ally in Kerala. The BJP has lashed out at Rahul for politically motivated selective outrage. The BJP points out Rahul Gandhi has refused to sack Congress pro-rapists even in the state of Jammu and Kashmir. And it goes on to say very quickly that when push came to shove, the Prime Minister acted as per his assurances and ensured that the two mantris who were sharing space with the Hindu Ekta Manch was shown the door. Now, all of this, of course, at least morally, and when it comes to political morality, the scales even out. The shoe is now very clearly on the other foot, on the Congress foot. Remember, even Omar Abdullah had recently questioned Rahul Gandhi. He tweeted about the Jammu Bar Association president. Just so we are clear here, for those who don't know the politics of Jammu and Kashmir, this person is a diehard congressman whose proximity to senior leaders from the state is no secret. In fact, this individual who Omar Abdullah has singled out was an election agent for Gulam Nabi Azad, who is today the leader of the opposition in the Rajya Sabha and is one of the closest associates of Rahul Gandhi.